Hey, Bolenberg, how are you doing today? It's Vince. I just wanted to quickly check in on this Wednesday, March 24th, and get you some market updates as it's happening live from the MLS. Um, I know everyone's been uh, talking about home prices and everything else, so I figured let's give you an update on this uh, hump day Wednesday, and uh, let's throw some wisdom at you. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen like I always do, straight to the MLS. And let's get on what I like to call the thing, Info Sparks. Here we go. As you can see here, we're in area 440, which is Bolingbrook. And the parameters I've set up here is Bolingbrook, three bedrooms or more, at least two bathrooms, uh, traditional resale properties. I'm not including new construction, uh, single family homes. I'm not including townhouses or condos on this one. Um, detached single. Uh, 1,000 to 3,000 square feet and non-waterfront. So this pretty much incorporates a good majority of Bolingbrook now. So as I want to show you here, as you can see, in three years, we're up 14.3%. So if you bought your home in 2018, add around 14 to 15% to that purchase price, and that's what equity you have earned in the just three years. Um, Average price for that is $280,000 right now. Um, back in January, it was $273. Um, back in December, just before Christmas, it was $270. So between Christmas and now, you've approximately earned another $10,000 on your property. So good, good, good stuff. As you can see, we went from a 225 average at, 28, at 2018 to a 280 in February. This isn't even including March, which I believe is going to probably add another five to $10,000 to this, putting our average somewhere around 285 to 290. Um, and this is the median average. Now I want to show you what's getting equated into this here. So I want to show you how many homes are actually for sale right now. 15. We have all of Bolingbrook with these parameters. You've only got 15 homes on the market right now. Um, available. Um, this month, we've had 76 listings, 74 are under contract, and 85 have been closed. And here's our month supply. We're at 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Back here, around three, that's, that's what's considered, uh, uh, I consider at least an average market, uh, somewhere between three to five months supply. So we are in an extreme seller's market right now. Um, almost too much, I would say, because people are actually having a hard time selling their home and finding one to purchase right now. That's actually becoming a problem where people aren't able to move because wherever they're going, there's no homes either. So it's actually becoming a problem. And uh, I'm kind of hoping to see an uptick as we go into further into the summer and uh, COVID-19 continues to be beaten down with the vaccine. So, but. Um, uh, what other cool numbers can I show you? Your price per square foot. If you know the square footage of your home, 140, 141 is about the average price right now. And again, this is this is the one everyone wants to see. The sales price, an average 280,000 in Bolingbrook right now for three to four bedroom homes up, up to uh, 3,000 square feet. And uh, again, guys, it's just absolutely insane. There's There's 10 buyers at least for every property. I just had a new listing come on today. I've already got 15 showings today between uh, 9 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. today. So I um, already have two offers in, matter of fact. So it, it, it's absolutely insane, but um, I just want to caution everyone a little bit. Make sure you're fully prepared for the move because that's really a lot of, most people are concerned about the sale and they never really um, stop to think about what comes on after you uh, after you sell your home? You know, uh, I can you know your home will sell in two days. The problem is, are we going to have a place to move you to? Uh, that goes for new construction too, where a new construction home, if not started, is a five to seven month process in many areas, and um, comes sometimes longer depending on utilities, gas, et cetera, et cetera. So. Again, this isn't the board. This is more to inform, but uh, be careful out there with your decisions. Make sure 
uh, you talk to someone like myself um, and really discuss the entire process from putting the sign in the yard to actually getting the moving truck in the driveway and going on to your new dream and a new stage of life. And uh, But hey, you know what? The market in Bolingbrook is absolutely fantastic. Um, as I said, buyers are not a problem. The sale is not the problem. I'm still expecting another $10,000 to be added to our equity between uh, uh, come showing the March prop in, uh, even into April. We're really not showing any signs of relief. And we're also not showing any signs of the bubble. Uh, because this, guys, is a pure supply and demand situation. This has really nothing to do uh, with any outside influences, banks, stuff like that. This is pure supply and demand, uh, doing what capitalism does. And um, it's just the reality we're in now. And, uh, you know, maybe if our rates get about four into the fours, uh, closer to the fives with APRs, we might start seeing a slowdown. But um, right now, guys, the, uh, the boomer generation is not moving. And um, that's that's what I'm seeing right now is a lot of the uh, the clog, if you will, is uh, a lot of that generation is not moving. And uh, there's really there has been a lull in the supply of new homes due to the crash in 07 and 08. And uh, everyone's just playing catch up right now. So there's a lot going on. And uh, but I wanted to assure people that I don't see a crash coming. I don't think it's coming. Um, unless something outside of the industry happens, uh, the industry doesn't appear to be creating any kind of boom or bust. So um, this is just people looking to move around due to COVID and everything else. So um, have a great one, guys. I know it's kind of eh out there. <laughs> We've had some rain. It's kind of cloudy, but hey, it's not snowing. And uh it's, it's almost considered warm out here for a spring in March. So have a great one, guys. And uh, I enjoy sharing this with you always. Uh, feel free to have any, if you have any questions, give me a quick uh, PM, DM, IM, whatever you want to call it nowadays. Message me and uh, let, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, let, give me the specifics of your place and uh, I'll help you uh, figure out what the market is going to do for you. So have a great one, guys. See you later.